quarter of 2013, 80 percent of all Americans suffer from some degree of candida overgrowth. Dr. David Perlmutter, a personal advisor to Dr. Oz, who you may know from the show, and his current New York Times bestseller Grain Brain, recently stated, those of us who deal with this health condition in a clinical setting are witnessing what now seems almost epidemic. Dr. David Perlmutter. The reason candida is so dangerous is because it directly affects your digestive system, which is the largest internal organ in your body. It's also the home of your immune system. So when your digestive tract is weakened, so is your ability to combat sickness and disease. Left untreated, it can begin to affect every area of your life. Here is a list of common candida symptoms composed by Dr. Mark Hyman, recognized candida authority and best-selling author of The Blood Sugar Solution. General symptoms include chronic fatigue, loss of energy, general malaise, decreased libido, sensitivity to foods, chemicals, or other allergens, eczema, psoriasis, irritable bowel syndrome, toenail fungus. Gastrointestinal symptoms include thrush, bloating and gas, intestinal cramps, rectal itching, altered bowel functions such as diarrhea or constipation, yeast infections, frequent bladder infections, irritable bladder. Hormonal complaints include menstrual irregularities like pain or bleeding, premenstrual syndrome, thyroid dysfunction. Nervous system complaints include depression, irritability, inability to concentrate. Immune system complaints include allergies, chemical sensitivities, low immune function. And if your past history includes chronic yeast infections, chronic antibiotic use for infections or acne, oral birth control pill usage, or oral steroid hormone usage, your chances of having candida overgrowth are greatly increased. One of the scariest things about candida is the way it begins to reprogram you to crave more of the foods it wants. It hijacks taste buds, brain chemistry, and hormones to make you want foods that make it grow faster and mess you up even more. Breads, sugars, refined carbs, sodas, fried foods, carb-heavy foods like pizza and pasta, and of course, desserts and sweets. Do you often find yourself craving these things? If so, it's probably not because you're a naturally unhealthy eater, but because the bad bacteria has taken over. It's like they're down there in your stomach yelling, feed me! forcing you to want foods that worsen your condition, make you gain weight, and make it literally painful for you to go on a diet that doesn't include them. Candida has also been linked to many studies showing it could be the number one cause of obesity. As doctors Carolyn Dean and William Crook write in their 2005 book, The Yeast Connection and Women's Health, most women don't have even an inkling that their symptoms could be caused by yeast overgrowth in their bodies. The number of women suffering in silence, not even knowing what is really wrong, and blaming themselves for failing is, I believe, literally numbered in the millions. Millions of women who can't lose weight and have no idea why. The same holds true for men. Once the excess yeast is destroyed, many find they are able to lose the unwanted weight quickly and easily, even that stubborn belly fat most diet plans can't touch. So now let's talk about how to fix it. Here's the good news. To start feeling better, you don't have to necessarily get rid of all of the candida. You just need to balance them out. As I mentioned before, your gut is also home to a lot of good bacteria. To start feeling your best, you just need to get to the 80-20 balance. 80% 80 good bacteria, 20% bad bacteria. There are two ways to do this. The first is going on a real, all-natural diet. That means completely eliminating all processed foods, refined sugars and carbs, artificial sweeteners, and also white breads. Then supplement your body with foods that are high in a special kind of good bacteria called probiotics. Probiotics are clusters of good bacteria that, like a powerful army, go into your stomach and form colonies that far outnumber the candida. They were first brought to attention in 2008 by Nobel Prize-winning physiologist Eli Mechnikov. Noting that Bulgarians at the time lived longer than anywhere else on Earth, he set to find out why, and deduced that it was because of their yogurt-heavy diet. He even named the first probiotic strand he discovered, Lactobacillus bulgaricus, as a tribute to them. Foods that are high in probiotics include sauerkraut, kefirs, olives, and fermented vegetables. Eliminate the unnatural elements from your diet and start eating those foods, and your gut will eventually balance itself out. But let's be realistic. In today's world, that is nearly impossible. Who wants to never eat out at another restaurant or never go over to a friend's place for dinner? Luckily, there is now a better way. 
Scientists have recently figured out how to load your gut with probiotics without having to change your diet at all. They've been able to put these living bacteria into pill form so you can take them with your meals, no matter what those meals may be. They offset the bad foods you eat, populate your gut with good bacteria, and instinctively balance you to the right ratio. Once this happens, all sorts of exciting changes can happen in your body. You have more energy, feel more alert and more active. You can focus better on work. You feel smarter, more productive, more creative. Many no longer have the need for coffee or caffeine, as your body is now able to get more energy from food and tap into it easily. Dr. Alan Walker, professor of nutrition and pediatrics at Harvard Medical School, recently stated, Evidence from clinical research demonstrates that adding good bacteria to the diet promotes a healthy digestive and immune system. This makes your disease-fighting ability stronger, so you get sick less often. In a 2001 study, children from daycare centers in Helsinki, Finland, were given milk with and without probiotics. Those who drank the probiotic-enhanced milk were 17% less likely to get a respiratory infection and 16% less likely to call in sick because of illness. Harvard Medical School has also recently gone on record to proclaim probiotics' effectiveness at preventing vaginal yeast infections as well as antibiotic-induced diarrhea. Dr. Michael F. Roizen, New York Times best-selling author and chief wellness officer at the Cleveland Clinic, recently said, Taking probiotics is a habit that can really benefit the digestive system, which is intricately connected to our overall health. Many also find weight begins to fall off, since your gut processes food more efficiently. If you've had trouble losing weight in the past, it could be because the candida have clogged up your digestive tract, which can greatly slow down your metabolism. You'll also notice those carb and sugar cravings fade away. You'll actually find yourself craving good, healthy foods that make you look and feel great. All in all, your digestive tract contains 60% of the cells in your body, so it's no surprise that clearing it up can make you feel like a whole new person. Oh, and before I go, I feel it's important I tell you about one more thing. It's important we talk about the costs of not taking care of your gut, because this is not a problem that fixes itself. If you are currently suffering from fatigue, irritable bowel syndrome, skin rashes, reduced sex drive, low energy, obesity, or lack of sleep, then chances are you are one of the 80% of Americans who has some form of candida overgrowth. 